In case you notice the ministration is going to come strong, please remember that it comes from a broken place. Okay? And I request that you pray for me as I make reference to the things of God. I don't know if the Lord is using me. I consider myself very lowly to claim to be used by Jesus. So be the judge of what you perceive. In as much as God is going to bless us, in as much as God is going to lift us, in as much as God is going to elevate us and do all those things he's going to do, part of the things we need to understand about the structure of grace is how grace is effectively used to build. And without that grace, whatever people are building cannot be effective because the foundation that we claim to stand upon do not stand on any authority that doesn't have grace as authenticity. So the writer of this scripture begins to explain to us the reason as to why if you are going to build an effective church. In fact, the book of James chapter 3, Jemo, we call it Jemo. Jemo began to tell us the kind of way that we are going to build. Number one, he says that I pray, I would not have that all of you should teach. Now tell your neighbor, neighbor, you can be a saint. In fact, we are all saints. But to teach, it takes beyond being a saint. Saint is the basics, the kindergarten of the conversation. It is once you are called into that light that Jehovah might, not will, might decide to use you to teach. And it's because of lacking that ability to siphon. So the grace of God is going to develop the church of the end time. To begin to function as little Petras, as Petros. And the goal is not jealousy. Because if you are jealous of your neighbor, the building will not stand. Because one rock cannot form a building. So we will need to be Petros. Many Petros. That understand the concept of standing on Petra. Okay, all of you on the front line, come quickly. Let's make you famous. Maybe someone has prayed. <laughs> what if you are, you, you are happy that you are the only one prophesying and you're happy when people tell you when you prophesy, I die? Hey. So, what if you die? What is left of the generation? You see, you don't understand the concept of Christ and the church. So let me explain to you. The more you find me, all of you are going to come to look at what will happen. I'm Petra, Jesus. Now I begin to call all of you from your different lambs. One is coming from Kenya, Eritrea, Gabon, wherever you came from. Now begin to come. You might think you are coming to our father, Apostle Arome. No, he too is Petros. But because he's the only Petros that has aligned properly. So it, he, God will use our Petros to bring all of you to Petra. So as you keep coming, what God is forming is a church that cannot be shaken. And as long as, go back to where you are. As long as the church is this way, Satan can find loopholes to the strongest of your own. But as long as the church, oh, who wants to play Satan? Ah, see. Okay, current for, oh, good. Even the color, the color is correct. <laughs> May the Lord bless you. Now, keep coming, keep coming. As long as you are there, now begin to find loopholes quickly. Ooh, three minutes. No, wait. Go back. Hey. Now begin to find loopholes. Enter through anywhere you are seeing. See, look at what Satan is doing. No, wait. Go back. You are not understanding. Satan enter. Because there are loopholes. Petros is still standing as Petros. You think you are the only, you like being the only prophet. You like being the only apostle. But listen to me. That's why you are fond of attacks. Because you are standing alone. I used to guard one of the prominent people in my nation. I have an understanding of what it means <laughs> to fire. I speak like that because my father knows. I know what it means to fire weapons heavily. I know what it means to protect till death. Don't play. <laughs> and the only way, no matter how strong I am, an army, because as long as I'm looking forward, I can't see my back. Do you remember the four beasts in heaven? And one had eyes all over. You, do you know the meaning of that? Is to tell you God sees everywhere. That's the purpose of that angel. To remind creation that God doesn't turn his head. God sees everywhere. That's why you saw the angel, that, that beast that looks everywhere. Is to tell you the eye of God is on every person and everything he created. So because of that, if you begin to, even if I have a great weapon, only my direction will not have evil. You think Satan is foolish enough to come through a direction that is already guarded? Satan will come where you are not guarded. And this is why he will, the best of us, will have impact. So as you keep growing, 
go back uh, our current that one when jesus begin to call knowing that he's petra so what is he doing in this season please keep coming there is a secret place i have found there's a life that i'm looking for it's my version yet in you i live and move and have my being he will now come to the center because all of them are standing on Petra. Remember the scripture if the foundations be, what will the righteous? Now, I want to ask you a question who can touch one of these little ones that are standing as Petros that are standing on Petra? Tell your neighbor the reason why Satan is always at your doorstep is because you are alone, you are alone in the wilderness, you are alone, you are easily accessible. Now, where is our current human that serves us? Now, try to penetrate. Now, all of you, take one hand, connect to me, leave your neighbor. Touch me, touch me. Leave your neighbor. Your neighbor is Petros like you. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to understand. I know my time is up. Now, they are holding on to Petra. So, the solidity of Petros is defined by the solidity of Petra. This cannot be shaken. Now, Satan, try to shake Petros. He knows he can't get to Petra. But he can attempt Petros. And if that Petros is continually connected to Petra, Satan cannot touch that Petros. He can't be movable. Now, Satan, try to move Petros that is connected to Petra. Move, try to move any Petros. So where, look at what they are holding on. Where is your strength coming from? from Notice, no answer me. Where is your strength coming from? Petra. Can you tell your neighbor, neighbor, find your Petra. And hold on to him even if it means death. Hold on. To him. Hold on. Hold on. There is a secret place I have found. Petra. <laughs> Satan, try to attempt. Parumbe, Nabila, Sidofe. Abenduna Villa Barakatume. It's a good time to pray. Father, can you make your grace? Can you connect me to Petra? Adam Bonakai. Please forgive me. It was not, it was, I didn't expect it. Forgive me. Can you tell your neighbor, neighbor? I know you want a great ministry. <laughs> Little Petros, find Petra and connect. Stay there. Even if nothing is working, stay there. Can you talk? Can you talk? Can you tell Lord Lord? This grace that you have released today, let me use it to get to Petra. Immovable. Build me on that solid foundation. Ooh, there is a secret place I have found. Petra. There is a life that I'm looking for. Yet in you, only if I move and I'm Oh, give me a minute. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. What day? I bet to cab. Empress Kuska Fagadi Menia. Adam Bonakai. Barata Cab. Empress Kuska Tab. Elamana Bambonezi. Siaka. Patome Nadumbe. Adekupa. A press Kuska Fagadia. Ebeta Gademo. Via Mande Luga Baria Tab. Asegada. Give me the grace to connect to you till death. Till death, till death, till death, till death, till death. I will stay with Jesus. I am a little Petros. Petra, help me. I am a little man. Petra, Fiame. Simbeludi. Abiro Gadias.
And because we lack that ability to check ourselves once and another, we lack the grace to continue as wise master builders. It's not just about building. Now, in case you're not aware, I happen to be in the building space. I, have to, uh, I understand one or two, three, uh, two things about building. There is one thing about building, and there's another thing about being a master builder. You see, a master builder is into details. Nothing escapes him. So assuming you are a pastor and you're into fornication, you are not a master builder. You are still a builder, but you do not understand that what you are doing now, you don't see 20 years from now, the effect that that thing can bring on yourself. So you are not a wise builder. You are a builder, but there is no wisdom because wisdom is futuristic. It enters into the future and brings into the current and gives you an alignment based on the current, how you should work in your future. So if you are going to build effectively, effectively, there is a secret place I have found. What is this place? A place where we build effectively. Now, because the, there is grace to build, I want to take it higher to the second phase. Hallelujah. First is uh, Isaiah 51. Isaiah 51. Because we have seen that now we can use grace to build. Let us see what do we build with grace. The kind of church that should come out of that kind of an arrangement. Isaiah 51. Can you kindly read it with me? It says, Hearken to me, ye that follow after... This is not a scripture for everyone. So tell your neighbor, neighbor, if you're not following after righteousness, don't say this scripture. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, this is not a scripture for people that are just, they are just born again. That all you have to your knowledge is born again. No. Are you following into the full steps of your salvation? Then this is for you. It says, hearken to me, ye that follow. Ooh. Ilave no brohon, skilaba na tupeli, na pahile menko, dogo mataya. In Coventus, Kiskofala di Meratu Kuprehesisa Salito Mandia Combai Tola, and Niku Pesu Sale via Mek Aitum Bebilusi Salito Menekeila. I see the Lord. He says, I came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Two conditions they are following after righteousness. If you begin to follow after righteousness, you will end in seeking the Lord. It's not my day. It's not my day. The day will come. Look unto the rock through which ye were hewn and to the hole of the pit you were dug. Now, 